Nene, girl, you got some explaining to do. You got some explaining to do. Girl, are these pics for real? Is this man really in love with you? <sighs> I just can't get over the flip flops myself. I can see if he was Muslim and he dressed in that uh, attire all the time. <sighs> I can see that or he was Indian. But I don't know. I just don't know about them flip flops. And he was wearing the ones that had the, the fur on them like the women. I can't tell, Nini. I just can't tell if you're going through a midlife crisis or you don't know who to love. But right now, I'm like, where's Marlo Hampton? Where is Marlo? Marlo can get you together somewhat. But it seems like ever since she got a peach, she don't seem to be hanging around you. And you're hanging around this man more than anything. I'm like, where are, are y'all at Lanithia? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Because I tell you, most of these pics, they really just seem for show. Because I can't really see the love. Like in that particular picture, the one to the left. It's like, why you got to lean all like that? Why you just couldn't fall into his arms? That's just like a sister hug. You know what I'm saying? Because your hands ain't really on his butt. It's on his side. And I know he ain't catching your fall. So I'm not sure. And then why would you take Peter advice when you call Peter a bitch? And men hold on to grudges more than women. They hold it on deep-seated type of hold on of hate. And you remember when you called him a bitch when he was married to Cynthia Bailey? Girl, I mean, you, you did the showdown. You just told him he was a bitch. He need to stay out of woman's business. I mean, you tore him down. Now you're going to let him set you up with a man that's married? Whether it's open, closed, I don't know. He's still married. Because over here in the States, we call that polygamy. But then again, is he your handler, I wonder. And that's all for my conspiracy theories. Y'all see that checkered flow? Okay. Somebody trying to elevate, is it Nene? I don't know, girl. I don't know. You hang with Wendy Williams and she was suspect up there, too. Trying to hang with the elites. Doing strange things for some more change. I'm just saying. Next I'm going to hear you go to Dubai. You over in Dubai doing stuff. Now Lord knows. Greg is no longer with you. And you had to sell your mansion. Why in the hell did you go and put it on a condo or some type of. Um, Y'all just know you drop out two million on an apartment building pretty much. A room where you had uh, concierge and all this kind of stuff. Like you living in New York somewhere. Why would you do that? That's crazy as hell. You could have bought some land. Built you a house on it that was like a mini mansion. And been done with it. Now you want to live in a secure building. Where you're paying all this stuff. Amenities every month. I don't know if your rent four or five thousand dollars. Not none of my business because I ain't got to pay it. But I'm just saying it just don't make no sense. Make it make sense, Nina. You just got out of that. Then you got your club where you still didn't have, have to pay your employees and whatever happened with your swag boutiques and them employees. I mean, come on. Cause to me, it's looking like a midlife crisis. <coughs> and you're missing Greg. Because Greg may have not been your sexual partner. Y'all may have lost that long, long, long time ago. But he was your confidant. He was the man who you could tell anything to. Because you felt he knew you the best. And he knew all your secrets. You know all of his. And y'all was just like friends to the end. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was anything sexual to, uh, towards uh, you all in the latter part of y'all marriage. Because it just didn't seem like Greg could get it up. And he was just tired. So I'm asking Kenya Moore. Come get your big sis honey. Come get Come get your big sis Nene. Because to me, Marlo can't reach her. I guess because Marlo got a peach and she don't have a peach and she feeling some kind of salty way. But we got Heavenly over there from Married to Medicine. Dr. Heavenly, she, she's seeking you out, Nene. She calling you out, Nene. She's telling you what you're doing is not right. Okay, it's not right for fooling with a married man. But it's also not right for fooling with somebody's child. <laughs> Even though he's probably a, a young adult. 
But she like, which way are you coming? Which spectrum are you swinging from? You want the young dick or you want the, the old dick? Which one? But you can't have both. You know? And then you saying this man look like he ready to marry you. And you know Dr. Helen, she don't mess with uh, she don't mess with the marriage thing. She be taking that serious that stuff serious, which you should. You should take it serious. It's a legal binding contract. You should be for him, he should be for you. She looking at you like you all types of crazy. How you gonna marry that man that man married? You ain't over back in Liberia, Africa or I don't know where he he really comes from. So he may be Nigerian. He may be uh what do you call it? Uh he may be Liberian, he may be Nigerian, he may be, I don't want to say Ethiopian, I don't think he is. But I'm not too invested in really trying to figure it out. I just know he's a man. And over there, if you want to have many wives and everybody's in agreement, you're supposed to be able to take care of them wives and them children that you may have. Now, you know you're not going to be the first wife. You're going to be a part of a harem. Can you deal with that, Nene? I don't know. I don't think you can because you're self-centered. You like your baby sister Portia. It's all about I, 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 I. Not we, 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 but I, 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 I. So, I don't know. I think you're going through a midlife crisis. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to throw salt on your name. I'm not going to throw salt on you. Because I gave you to September of this year. To try to figure it out. And that would have been one year. And in these last three months. You have had two relationships that you put out there in public. Whether they false or not, you put them out there, okay? They're out there. The man with the flip-flops, the married man, him. He married. What you gonna do with him? He got to share everything with the wife. And you're not in Africa, like I said. You don't, I don't think, but I don't think you're part of that tradition where you're gonna have him being with every other person every other day. Which he calls his wife. That's polygamy over here, Nene. Now, over there, it may be legal. But it's polygamy over here. Okay. I think I got that word right. So, what are you doing? That's my question. What are you doing? Where is Marlo? Or was Marlo really Greg's friend? His confidant. That he could talk to you about, Nene. Is that the case? And you and Marlo really don't have a friendship? Like... You all tr portrayed yourselves to be. Girl, what's going on, Nene? What's going on, girl? I mean, do you not want to be at home by yourself? Because, don't you know? Look up Oprah. How long has she said had stabbing in her life? She ain't married to him. She got all her coins and then some. Okay. But she ain't out there running around like a hoe. Like a tramp. Like a prostitute. I'm just saying. Get it together, man. You know better, do better. You already was a mistress slash home wrecker when you got Greg. Now, this man done told you. He got a wife. And you supposed to be okay with that? You're living the American dream? The American's way of doing things? Are you trying to teach us a new way of how we should look at marriage? Hmm? Ain't down with it. I'm not down with the polygamy. I'm not down with... Being number five, six, seven, eight of a harem. If you can't love me for me and it just be me and him, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Because you, you, you sold your house for one. So you're a prize. Uh, what do you call it? You're a prize to be taken advantage of. Because you got loose money that you don't really have tied up into things. And you're single. Okay? And when a person tell you they married, you're supposed to say, thank you. Thank you for the drink. But I can't deal with you. Got to go. Bye-bye. Then you're dealing with a young bug who want to try to get some money off you too. Because he sure snap them pictures and put them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, probably anywhere, Pornhub. It doesn't matter, you know. He got his little two cents from you whether y'all did something or not. It's that illusion. It's the optics that give you the right to think a certain way or have a certain perspective on what you're shown. Now, I don't understand. Now, Marlo been riding with you like four flat ties. I don't know if that was a true relationship or she just wanted to be a part of your entourage and she's being shown on TV. She's getting that extra residual check. 
you know but look at look at who comes cooking now she's sitting in your seat nene and you're out is it some kind of saltiness you're having towards her i'm just saying everything don't look good on my end because to me it seems like you're having a midlife crisis and all these photos you got going on with this man to the right and this man in the middle did y'all do a threesome i'm just i'm ass asking girl because they can get kind of freaky i think you too old to be trying to get freaky but whatever floats your boat but i'm just saying okay i'm just saying are you trying to be young again nene i just love that car y'all might see that car in just by all my videos with fallon because that girl she just it's, it has confidence from head to toe whether she's probably an introvert and she's scared inside you would never know it because that's a boss stance that's a boss ride and all her accessories plus that house in the background giving her a boss wife you know what i'm saying she may not have that house behind her but what i was told she got that car <laughs> she got that car and i'm telling you, she doing that darn thing because that's sharp but my my truck ever needed a paint job i'm gonna look this video up so can you get this color and can my seats be white in the inside or maybe it's black and white or something to that effect because that's just ooh, that's or maybe brown interior in the inside you know what i'm saying brown leather seats like a cognac brown yeah because i still get messed in the car and i don't want to mess up the white seats the white interior but i just find it to me to be able to call somebody on national TV and a show goes global to call this man a bitch and be very self-assured that he is one because he's acting like one and he don't need to be around women. That y'all can too be friends and he not hold a grudge for you embarrassing him like that. Wouldn't that be something if he set you up with this man just to get you back from calling him a bitch and then he take all your money? Who gonna be the loser then, Nene? The man you called a bitch that you called your friend got you back and then had his friend take all your money. Now, who winning? That's just my theory. may not come true, but it just came to my mind when I was like, who set you up with this married man? Bam, Peter. Peter was a cheater. You know what I'm saying? Had a wife and couldn't keep him. That was sensitive. All right. So, I'm like, I don't understand. And even Dr. Helen on her little show on her YouTube station. She was calling you out too. She said, if you're going to do stuff like that, keep it out of the network. Keep it out of the social media realm. Keep it to yourself. Keep it behind clothes. Let that mystery be a mystery until everything is kosher and you can bring it out and you got the paperwork to back you up for he says, naysayers, and all the she says. Okay, you got your stuff. But right now, you're looking like a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Well, I ain't going to say everybody because we want to generalize some people's mouths. Some people got a bad taste when they look at you. I look at you as you're missing Greg. You don't have that confidant anymore. You spin, you're kind of spinning out of control because you don't really have, from what I understand, just been listening on the streets, don't know your business, don't know have, don't know your bank account, haven't sat at your table, had a real conversation with you for real. But just looking at the aesthetics and the optics, it doesn't seem like you're being booked and busy out there. Okay, with that said... You worried about that probably because everyday people worry about their jobs here and there. Especially with this COVID mess going out. Some jobs paying for you to stay at home or work from home. And some jobs not. You have to use up all your PTO. Or you just go ass out. Or you have to go back to work sick. Don't feel like you probably fall out on the floor. Die, it just it don't matter kill. Okay. It's just like okay pick up the body. We got somebody else. Tell them come on in. You know. Give them the spill of the job description and keep it moving. All right. And your, gr and your grave hadn't even been dug. You ain't out the morgue or anything. But they don't post your position out on the social media uh, field where you go and apply for jobs. You see what I'm saying? So it's called take care of yourself. Know your worth. Know your self-worth. And uh, tread accordingly. All right. But we got a story here. We got a story that was just me rambling on, giving my feel, giving my take on how I feel about the situation. Okay? Because I think it's just too far, too fast, too soon. And when I say it like that, I mean, yes, her and Greg may have been separated, but he was still here in his earthly body. No, they may not have been sexually active. Maybe he gave her a reprieve to go and get her inhibitions out with somebody else. But make it where nobody knows about it. Okay? 
And I'm pretty sure he told her, when I'm dead, do whatever you want to do. Of course. When you're dead, you gone. Who going to stop her? Okay, who going to stop her, boo? But <coughs> I just think for Nene, she just have a lot of mixed emotions going on. And she has some sexual desires. She has a little money. She's known as a celebrity. And she's trying to make them all connect. And right now, everything's just falling apart. Everything's just falling apart. And maybe her son, Brent, may have told her, you know, mama is kind of looking kind of wild out here. Or maybe he didn't. Because maybe he's missing his dad. And he don't even know how to fully understand his feelings of missing his dad. So all of them are just in a conundrum. I think they kind of need, well, I know they need prayer. So just say a prayer out for them. And they need you can't always, you know, mourn people uh, in, in the dark and then do crazy shit out here in the streets like you're doing. Being shown with this man who we've known to be, who we kind of know. Because we really don't physically know. I don't know. I ain't went to no courthouse. I really don't know what is put out on him. Whether he's legally separated. He just separated because him and his wife wanted to be separated. And is he still married? Don't know none of that. Don't know none of that. Okay. Just all allegedly all hearsay over here. But what them streets are talking about. Okay. They're saying a man is still married. And he's separated. Okay. That doesn't give you the free will to say you're going to marry this man. Or even step on a, a marriage proposal from this man. Unless you're agreeing to be a part of his harem. I mean you're not going to be the first wife. Because I'm sure somebody else already got that position taken. You might be the second. You might be the third, fourth, fifth, seventh, tenth. If that's what you can live with. I'm fine with it. Love it. Like it. Good do you boo but you're more than likely going to come with some friction from the press you're going to come from you know naysayers you're going to have well-rounded people look at you a different way because you have so much potential you can change the aesthetics of people hating you turning into liking you in the blink of an eye this is how you move out here. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, you know, people ain't going to come up to you because they, they feel like they might get them hands. You might take their phones, smash it to the floor. You might cuss them out. They don't know how to take you right now. But people that got hearts, people that can sympathize and empathize, they're going to give you that, uh, what do you call it, that tough love slash. We're going to understand. We're going to let you infringe a little bit here and there. But after a year's time of mourning your husband. We don't expect you to be making more business moves, more smart moves in your relationships, and just act aesthetically pleasing. You know what I'm saying? You can act like a total ass outside the cameras. But when you're outside dealing with people every day, comings and goings, and you're trying to make business moves, and you're trying to be likable again to the public, you got to make some changes. Some quick changes. Because this year, I don't know if you'll be 54 or 55, you know, and... <sighs> Retirement is coming up. But then like I said. People that are part of the entertainment world. Y'all never retire. Y'all be sitting up there 100 years old. Still be trying to get that money. Like baby. If you ain't got it. When you hit your 50s. Because you don't live half a century. You ain't got it by then. Nine times ten. You ain't going to get it. And if you get it. It depending on how you get it. Is whether you're going to appreciate yourself. And be well for it. Okay. But let's go on into this article. That the sun. The US sun dot com brought out. Okay, Dan Roberts was the lead journalist on this story. He dropped it out today, I do believe. If the day the 19th. Nope, day the 20th, so it was yesterday. Okay, let's get on to see what he's saying about the get back with the kickback with Nene. He goes and titles it, Here Comes the Bride. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leak says she's absolutely open to marriage again. And she dates new man as a husband's Greg Steph. Okay, but my thing, Nene, the man ain't single. The man ain't single, so how you gonna marry him, honey? Girl, that's the number one question of the day. All right, Nene Leakes is absolutely open to marrying again after mourning the sudden loss of her husband last year. And she may have already found the groom. Okay, that groom right there. All right, Nene has found love with businessman. We're gonna say Naomi, okay? Yep. That's Naomi right there. She thinks she don't hit it big. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum 54 is reporting very much already in love with new boyfriend Naomi. How can you be in love with a married man? Simple. You a hoe. Simple. You a prostitute. Simple. You're the mistress. Simple. You're the other woman. 
Take it how you look at it, Nene. That's pretty much what you are. Because he already has a wife. He's married. Okay? Going back to the article, it says Nene is totally into him. I'm pretty sure she is. Because she's like that when she was with Greg. Greg was married, too. She was stripping so well in the strip club that Greg liked to hang out at. He was just so enticed. She was like a siren. So she captured Greg's heart and his wallet. And his marriage dissolved. And he went with Nene. Same thing she's doing with this person. I'm like, what is it with these single women that's going, being attracted to these married men? And y'all have to throw caution to the wind and try to take these women or husbands. Well, let me see. Women to the husband, husband to the woman. Either or vice versa. Y'all know what I'm going with. Why are you attracted to not just sitting back, just having an affair and, and how it used to be in the old days, okay? If you don't know about them, they don't take them out. You probably know about them, really, but you don't say anything because they're not being shown to the world to embarrass you. I'm, uh, some few people going to know about it, and they're going to talk about it. And it's going to be well known, but it's going to be kept out of your face for the time being. But anybody that's fooling with somebody and they don't give a shit, I don't care how large you think your state is or your town is, people going to know. And they're going to be whispering. And it's going to shit going to hit the fan. And either he's going to stay with that mistress and leave you. Or he's going to cut that mistress off and stay with you. Or he's going to have both of y'all. And it's going to be up to you all, meaning the women, to choose. Alright? And it could be the same thing with the woman. You know, trading it up with two men. You know what I'm saying? Either going to take it leave. You remember that song? Secret lovers. I'm your wife, but I'm his girl. Somehow I go, y'all know Atlanta Star Secret Lovers. That's where that song came from. A triangle of thick. All right, but anyway, going back to the article, it says Nene is totally into him. A source told people he's winning. He's whining and dining her. Well, that's pretty much what a cheater does. They whine and dine. Then for us all over said, well, when they think they got you, then you start paying the bill. Okay, then you try to figure out how you got there. How do we get from here, my love? Okay, but anyway, the real star in her Liberian. So he's Liberian. Okay, good, got it, good. Okay, Liberian businessman Bo have been dating since last year. Last year when? Last year when Greg died on September 1st. Last year in the summertime. Last year in the wintertime. Men in January, what part last year? Because ain't nobody trying to give us no answers. All right? Anyway, the couple went public on December 16th when they posted multiple pictures of themselves to Instagram celebrating her birthday. A few, day, a few days later, the two were spotted holding hands in Miami as they made their way out of the restaurant, Mr. Child. Although their relationship is still relatively new, the couple have vaccinated together. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder, are they vaccinated? Maybe they should be if they haven't. But it is what it is. Choose your own mind when it comes to the vaccinations. But it says the couple had vacationed together. And Nene has shared photos of them on Instagram. I can't say I saw the photos. They looked it like they were just posted for us to see. They had no really validity to them. But I have known that... Uh, Nene is very quiet these days. She's very soft-spoken. She's not this loud, obnoxious person. When you know she goes out, she ain't trying to meet the cameras for they damn getting there to you know get there to her. She used to be walking to them in a sense, showing her teeth, her tongue, and everything, and just trying to be vocal with the press. You know what I'm saying? Now she's like kind of scaled back. She kind of looks to uh, Naomi to make you know conversation or whatnot she's very reserved so i'm like what nene don't change that much she ain't flapping them jaws oh my goodness there might be something that come out of this marriage but i ain't gonna like it until i know he's not married anymore <laughs> it's just that's the way i was raised i'm sorry guys i can't you know love is powerful but lust is even more powerful and i think nene is in her stage of lust not love. That's two different things. Don't ever mix them up, guys. Lust, L-U-S-T, and love, L-O-V-E, are two different things. Lust will get your ass in trouble. Love will make a building a foundation to be unbreakable if you both want the same thing. Okay? So, remember, they, they, they uh, have the two L's, but they're two, totally two different things. So, educate yourself. 
before you go throwing out that love word when you know you more in lust than love okay but anyway despite losing red last year she is really happy and in a great place as she begins starting this new chapter of her life the insider reveal greg's passing we don't want to go into no whole regurgitation we know greg died of colon cancer he was 66 at the time girl was that a sacrifice i don't know you know i'm in this conspiracy theory type of frame of mind when i be seeing checkerboards when i be seeing them hands throw up like a double girl i be looking honey but i don't know my conspiracy theory people get down in them comments so we can have a conversation if you if you want to <laughs> okay but you know we're not gonna even go into that um last words final days of when he was transitioning and what her husband told her you know this that and the third what his wishes was for her because that doesn't matter when you're on your deathbed what are you gonna do say no nah, i don't want you to marry again if i want you to be miserable and, and you'll be a, a, a nun and, and this that and the third what well, i mean what you're trying to get into them hell and gates you're trying to say whatever that's possible and, and and less cruelty involved because you try to pay for your sins you got to repent for everything as well so of course you don't want them friends and somebody else that's living in this world still gone do you boo you got to take up for your own self when it comes to the lord he ain't gonna have what i did which you have what you did you know what i'm saying so <sighs> we're just not even gonna uh, go into that um let's see uh let me see he said you want me to move on okay we don't we don't want to talk about it okay oh okay well that was pretty much it um the per the journalist of this particular article he just recaptured some touching words of what greg had wanted for nini after he transitioned um and you know it's just very thoughtful he wanted her to be happy he wanted her to be happy if if getting married again was her ideal of just dating you know he didn't want her to be alone uh and you know she pretty much said you know she would not have had a, a another husband other than him he was the perfect husband for her i'm not like girl if he was so perfect why did you divorce him or was it because you were having tax for or he was having tax problems and you didn't want to get tied up in that mess so y'all had to get a quickie divorce so y'all that issue could be settled and then y'all could get back together that's what I think, and that's what's playing around in my head. But it could have been totally the opposite, okay? But I don't know, Nene. I'm just looking like, girl, sit your ass down somewhere. Date him for a while, okay? Because you're very vulnerable. You have fresh new money. This man probably have debt because he has several businesses. Meaning he have employees, he have a staff. And whether he's making money, the bills still have to be paid. You know, these... Uh, entities he had where people go in to shop for his clothing those uh, whether they're being leased or whatnot payments still have to be made on them each month lights have to be made on them you know his wife got to be taken care of don't know if he have any children i think somebody may have told me he has one child he, he you know he has responsibility and you you don't really have no responsibility your kids are grown you know, maybe you take care of your grandkids financially here and there, doing little things for them or big things, however you see it. But, you know, it's just really yourself. And I think you need to take time to find out who Nene is and revamp Nene. Uh, because the public, some of us don't care for you, you know. Because we scared to approach you. We scared for you to come up on us. Because, you know, we might say, give me 10 feet. Because we don't know if you're going to strike out or not. Because you like throwing them bowls too. You just not caught on camera. You like hooking them folks around their neck and won't let them go. Alright. That's what I want to hear. I don't know if it's true or not. But it just is what it is. Uh, as Portia loves to say, your baby sis. I don't know if you've been giving her uh, lessons on how to entrap or trap an older man that got money. And show him a good time. Because loud as this, uh, well quiet as this kept loud, I'm going to say. Then it's a Portia with lays in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing she was just doing missionary style, laying on her back, let him do it whatever, and go on and get up and wash up. That's my thing, cause Dennis was like, "Huh, what?" She lays his head. She only know one position, but it is what it is. Okay, but that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it, love it, find some type of rationale. I say, I say we need to pray for Nene uh, to definitely get her shit together. 
uh, but like I said, she's go, she's mourning, she's grieving, and this may be her process. But we don't want her to be uh, dumb out there trying to have fun and lose it all because of a man. You know what I'm saying? Be smart. Invest your money. Or keep your money in a vault or something. I don't know what to say, what to tell you. But don't give all your money to no man when you had a hard time trying to get what you got. Okay? And they trying to get what you got on the low by charming you, whining and dining you, and this, that, and the third. Okay? You too old to be playing games with anybody. You should be able to recognize somebody for who they are, just what they say. You need to know already what a line looks like, what it sounds like. Okay? And when somebody's truly interested in you versus somebody that don't set you up. Okay? I'm just saying. Because two birds of a flat are fought together. And one thing about Peter Thomas. He love women. He cheat on women. So he going to set you up with somebody that is already telling you, oh, I'm married. I'm never going to leave my wife. Or she's going to always be there. But you could be a part of my uh, tribe. You could be a part of my harem. Or you could be a part of someone i love on at the time but let it be known i'm for them streets okay like tupac said i guess around so if you can go down <laughs> you can be down with those cold of exits that he's flowing by Ooh, sister we'll pray for you but hey you're a grown-ass woman you got to do what you got to do but we're just saying you're moving too fast too far too soon but Live your life, live the best life, Nene, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, peace out.